Okay, so this is my 11 channel, well it's a 16 channel CCTV camera system. There's one PTZ camera, it's a Pelco camera, uh, four Sony CCTV cameras, a Clinton, and a couple other little off-brand ones, and a Sensormatic camera. The PTZ camera up there is on a patrol right now. Let's go to different presets. Nine. And then you take it to preset 98 and it'll start patrolling. That one is a CoStar camera. It's the room camera. It's not viewable on the screen. This is the 24 volt AC uh, 20 amp power supply for the entire camera system. Each transformer is capable of 10 amps for a total of 20. And there's eight cameras can hook up over here and eight over here for a total of 16 different cameras. The computer is just a uh, 1.98 gigahertz, just an old random compact computer running Windows XP with some generic off-brand DVR card from eBay that I got for like 30 bucks. It's a 16-channel card, and it came with some random Chinese. CCTV camera software, which doesn't do too bad of a job at all. So far, I haven't really had any problems with it. So, let's go outside. This is what pretty much all of my typical outdoor cameras look like. This is one of the Ultrek housings. There's one of them over there with an IR lamp, and then there's one all the way down there with an IR lamp. And you can see the Pelco PTZ camera off to the right. Inside of this, is the Sony camera. I have about four different Sony cameras. This is a color one. This is the board that has the thermostat for the fans and the thermostat for the heaters. There's a cooling fan there and these are the heaters for the defrost in the wintertime. This case and the camera all runs off 24 volts AC. You can run the camera off 12 volts DC but you can't run the heaters and anything off of that. The other camera we have right here is just a little GE camera from Walmart with just like nine IR lamps or ten, and that's just for just the doorway. That's a homemade IR lamp with three different camera IR lamp modules that I got from eBay. This is my Pelco PTZ camera. I'm pretty sure it has 12 times optical zoom and like. I don't remember how much digital zoom, but it, it had a total of like 96 times zoom. I got this camera, I wanted off of eBay as broken for about 41 bucks. And I looked up the camera on one website and it was selling for around $1,800. The only thing wrong with it was when he had it shipped to him, UPS dropped it and broke the movement piece. But with some simple super glue, it was easily glued back on. If you look closely, you should be able to see the dome moving as it does its little area patrol. Wait for it to come back around. Okay, so we're going to open up the PTZ dome camera and see the inside. Okay, so this is the inside of the Poco camera with the bubble removed from the pendant. It should be coming right around here now. This that goes around here is the heater, one of the heaters, and that's the thermostat. This camera has three heaters and three cooling fans, as you can hear. So let's go ahead and take the camera out and I'll show you. So to remove the camera, you press the two tabs in. You pull it out like this. Okay, so this is the Pelco PTZ camera. The camera moves up and down like that, and then like this. 
on the bottom, this is how you set the different camera addresses, whether you want it to run on Coaxitron, D version, P version. The model number is a DD5M, and these are all the different ways to set your switches. This needs to tighten, but, you know. Okay, so let's take a look at the inside of the camera. There's three fans, and these metal things here on each side are the heaters. Now, take the camera, film up in here, come up in here. Up inside there is where you can change all your different settings, you can set your alarms up and your connections with everything. Okay, so now we're in the backyard with another one of my cameras. It's the same Ultrek housing with the heaters and the blower that you've seen earlier. Inside is a little bit different camera. It's a Sony camera, but it has a fixed auto iris lens. So now if we move over here, we just have just a cheaper $20 generic dome camera with some IR lights just to film the back gate area. Over there is pretty much the camera that started my whole, I don't know, I guess you could say obsessive hobby of CCTV cameras. This is the one camera that I won off eBay. It's been my little backyard camera since the beginning. It looks pretty good at night. It's got a 6mm lens, so it zooms right up to the back door and it lights the whole area pretty good with the infrared lights that it comes with. Over here is another backyard camera with the ultra housing and inside of it is a sensormatic camera with just a auto iris lens on it. All the wires run back on down. The wires follow the soffit down. The whole system's installed to where it could be removed and placed in another house one day. Because I haven't installed it permanently around here. So I didn't really hide all the wires. The wires run down. Come up through that bundle and go inside. Where there's two more cameras. There's one in that corner and there's a camera in that corner. And then there's the two infrared lights for the cameras. If we come around the front yard, we have another old truck camera house, housing, with a Clinton camera in it and an infrared lamp. The wiring for the front yard cameras run up and down, and over to our homemade IR lamp. We come back over here to the other side of the house with our final CCTV camera, yet again in another old truck housing, and it's another Sony black and white camera that sees amazing at night. And we come all the way back around to the Pelco PTZ. The favorite one out of them. Back inside, over here, back by the viewing area, this is the remote that controls the PTZ camera. I got this remote off of eBay for about 17 bucks. It has all the controls, the zoom, the focus, the iris, up, down, everything. You can get in the menu, everything from here. The little box that sends that you hook to the camera is this little box right here. It's a PTZ dome controller. It works pretty good. It says it only works with RS-485 on eBay, but my camera is an RS-422 camera, and it works just fine, just under two wires. The box I've shown you before is about a $250 to $300 box. Got it on eBay for $25. Bucks. So the whole system consists of pretty much professional, high-quality security system cameras, the PTZ camera is by far the most expensive camera I own, but I paid 41 bucks for it, and you cannot beat that because it's 100% functional. It may be black and white, but I like black and white a lot better because it's a lot easier to get black and white cameras to see in darkness with infrared lamps than it is to get the color cameras to see. And that's my homemade CCTV camera system. I've been working on it, slowly collecting different parts and pieces of it for about a year now. So... Thanks for watching.